it's Dana with Empower RV. We're here at the National RV Training Academy bringing you another episode of 52 Ways to Empower Women RVers. Brenda is off completing another project. So today I just wanted to bring you a little bit of information regarding furnaces. If the weather temperatures are starting to drop, the cold is seeking, uh, seeping in, and just like you know, we take care of our air conditioners during the summer months, we want to be sure to take care of our furnaces during the winter months. Important aspects of the furnace, just like air conditioner, are to keep your return airs clear. Return vents are going to be located in different areas of, in different campers. Traditionally in fifth wheels, a return vent is going to be on the step leading up to that higher elevation in the fifth wheel. Small campers, 20 feet or smaller, you might actually find return airs up high on the back side of a bed area, the back side of a couch, because the, the floor vents are going to be where the hot air comes out, so the return is going to be in a separate location. A larger travel trailer, you might see return air along the floor, but they're going to be separated from the, the vents that provide the warm air. Just make sure you keep all those areas clean. Locate your returns, locate where the, where the warm air is coming out, and just make sure you're not blocking those areas. When you're looking for the furnace option on your thermostat panel, be sure that you know if you have multiple zones. Traditionally, a furnace is only going to be on one zone of that thermostat. So you're gonna to have to uh, punch through that thermostat, look for zone one or zone two, or whichever zone you're gonna find it, it's going to have the word furnace. That tells you that that zone is the furnace that operates the entire camper. You will not traditionally have more than one furnace operation on that thermostat. So make sure when you're calling for warm air that you're actually in the thermostat furnace mode. Not only do you wanna keep your return air vents clean and clear, you also wanna make sure there are no obstacles preventing the warm air from entering your camper. You wanna make sure that you don't have pet beds, um, covering those areas. I know the dogs and cats like to be nice and warm, but keep those pet beds pulled far away from there. You also want to make sure there's no clothing that piles up on the floor. Just double check those areas in the colder months, just like you would your air conditioner, keeping the vents open. You want to have nothing preventing that wonderful warm air coming in. One final tip that we're going to give you about keeping your camper warm during the cooler months is to actually conserve that propane that you have and utilize a ceramic heater. If you're using a ceramic heater, you're actually just using the electricity that's already provided for you when you are staying at a campground that you've paid for. It's worthwhile to invest in a small ceramic heater with a safety tip over feature. That way, if it gets knocked over by a pet or a small child, there's no risk of anything happening. It'll just simply turn itself off. But that's one way you can reserve the propane that you pay for in your camper and keep that camper nice and toasty, even if the temperatures are dropping. You can actually supplement the furnace heat with a ceramic heater as well. I hope you enjoyed these tips. Maybe you've learned something new. Give us a like in the comments below. Subscribe to us on social media, and we'll see you next time.